Hey guys, great to see you again. So we're going to start this DIY with this Dollar Tree sign. I'm just going to take everything out of the frame. So I'm going to take the glass out as well. If you remember Dollar Tree was selling these bags, they had a Betty Boop, they had this one, Mighty Mouse. Um, so for this DIY, obviously we're going to use olive oil and I'm just putting the glass over um, her picture. I picked up these oil-based uh, Sharpie paint pens from Target and I printed off these rope letters. They're just something I found on Google Images and I'm going to trace over the letters with the glass but first I need to mark off um, with a wet erase marker some borders and so I basically need to be able to see where on the picture I should start my letters or where they should end. I don't want them to run into the image of olive oil at all. So I'm just going to mark those off with this wet erase marker. And if you do this, make sure that you're using a marker that you can erase. And so now that that's done, I'm going to use the oil paint sharpie markers to trace over some letters if you can guess what i'm going to spell out pause the video and drop the comment below pause it right now if you can guess it or if you want to take a guess and drop a comment below about what you think i'm going to write I'd just be interested in seeing what people guess it is. And now I'm going to take the gold marker to spell out the last word. All right, so this is what we have. Let's get naughty, um, but spelled in the nautical way. So just using a damp paper towel, I'm gonna wipe away the marks I made with the wet erase marker. I'm gonna place it back over the image just to make sure it fits and it looks good. So all I have to do now is to cut the bag up. If you don't want to cut the bag up, if you want to be able to use it later on as a bag, you don't have to cut it. You could absolutely just fold the rest of the bag around the back and tape it down um, and then take it off when you want to use the bag. Or you can give it as a gift and the person can use the bag as a bag. Um, but I just decided to go ahead and cut it. And I'm gonna put the glass back in. I'm going to put everything back in. And um, you wanna be sure you use the white side of the paper because you don't want that beach access sign to show through the back. And I'm gonna bend down the bendy things. Image looks good. So I'm gonna turn it back over and cut off the excess fabric. Now, if you want to, you could absolutely hot glue down those edges, um, but I decided to use something that I've had and just haven't used, tacky glue. 
and I'm just going to turn it over and glue down all of those edges that are sticking up. And I'm going to wipe up the excess glue with that same damp paper towel. And turning it over, it looks really good. And I decided to use the red marker just to make some accents around the red part of the bag where the hearts are. And just to help add some dimension to it. I decided that I wanted to make, I decided that I wanted to add some anchors on. I've even seen some signs that use an anchor instead of the T in the word naughty. That's a really cute idea. And uh, now I'm going to take some of these small seashells. These are the ones that come in the small bottles from Dollar Tree. And using hot glue, I'm just going to go all around the front of the frame with these tiny shells. And I alternate between the dark shells, the light shells. There are some that are very pearlescent. And I just go all around the frame. This, ladies and gentlemen, is our end result. This was a really quick DIY, but I think it's so cute. I think it's so darling and adorable. I'm celebrating reaching 5,000 subscribers and I will be hosting a 5k giveaway. If you want to know what the prize is, please check the description box below for the video that I posted before this one and it will take you to the video where you'll not only get a DIY, but you will also get to see the great gift that you would be able to win. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope the rest of your day is wonderful, beautiful, and blessed. I will see you all in my next video, everyone. Take care. Bye.